Hey, hey, how we doing? All right, we're back to the GBBR world. Now, misfeeds. I'm going to be talking about another issue that could occur if you're having misfeeds, but that's most likely if you're using aftermarket parts. So, barrel extension right here. We got the hop-up unit right here. All right, you see this? Okay. Right in here, you have a little ramp. Let me see if I can show it to you. Right here, there's that little ramp. So, if the hop-up rubber is too close to it, what's gonna happen is the BB will get loaded and it will hit this lower lip. And it will bounce a little bit to the left or to the right. And if you do that often, then you're gonna have a misfeed, maybe here, maybe here, maybe there, maybe it's gonna be right on top of it. So keep that in mind. Maybe if you want to keep that set up and you don't want to change anything else, maybe just cut the hop-up bucking down here below just a little bit and then push your uh, BB gently with your fingers, with your hand, and see if it's going to be smooth or if it's going to get caught up on the hop-up bucking. The other thing you got to keep in mind too is the distance. You see, like if it's going further back or if it's too close. If it's too close, we know what's going on. If it's too far away, and the angle is too high on this little ramp right here. Where is it? On this ramp right here. What's gonna happen is the BB will jump way too high and it will get stuck right down, right up here. And it will destroy your uh, hop-up uh, bucking and maybe even your hop-up, uh, well, your hop-up unit. Well, that's another thing to keep in mind. Just quick little up, quick little thing. Um, check out yours, how it's happening. Um, where are the misfeeds happening? If it's constantly further up, then you know what's going on. The ramp is too steep and your um, hop-up bucking is too far away. If it's kind of like all over the place, then most likely the BB is hitting the hop-up bu uh, bucking on the, on the bottom. It might be too close and just hitting it a little bit and then it's jumping to any uh, position it just likes to go at times. Here I have three different barrel extensions and all of them, they're a little bit different. They have a different approach angle, a different ramp, how steep it is, some are steeper and some are less. So this is going to affect how your BB is gonna get loaded into the inner barrel. Keep all of that in mind when you buy aftermarket parts. Also, how fast is your GBBR shooting? What's the rate of fire? What? How heavy is your bolt? How heavy is your buffer? How strong is your spring? The stronger it slams in there, if you're having already, if you're prone to have some uh, feeding issues, then this is only going to get more exaggerated. If it's slamming really hard back into the, um, uh, into the chamber, then it's going to hit the BB harder. So again, if it's hitting the lip, the, the bucking lip a little bit, it's gonna jump back and forth. If it's further away, it's gonna to fly too high up. Then uh, BB weights, that's also a big one. So uh, if you're prone to having um, feeding issues, then um, a heavier BB might help, depending what the issue is. So if your hop-up bucking is too far away and it's just kind of like hitting the, the, the upper portion of your hop-up bucking and that's what's causing the issue, you might want to try a heavier BB because when the bolt slams it and runs it all the way up that, that ramp, the BB is not going to jump as high because it's heavier. For a shorter period of time, I had a setup where I could only use 49s. Anything else, anything lighter, it would just jam up my, my rifle and that was exactly the issue. The, the ramp was steep and my uh, hop-up bucking was too far away. So it just hit it always up there. And that's a big pain in the butt. Um, if you short stroke your GBBR, all of a sudden you have a bigger rate of fire, so the bolt is slamming back faster, that might flick it or hit the BB um, harder. And depending on your issue, it might hit it up there or it might go all over the place because the lip we talked about. Guys, I hope this was helpful. I also have another video that I did um, on uh, misfeeds that might help you as well. Thank you.